So believe it or not, Justin Fields has come out and acknowledged that he's been playing too robotic and not blaming the coaching. Is there a way that he can turn this around and look like an actual NFL quarterback? No, he needs a brain transplant. Unfortunately, Justin Fields just told you, I don't like being coached. I want to play backyard football. Translation, they're not letting me be me. It's another case of young people in this country and this delusional, entitled mindset. Here's an idea, son. Get in the video room, learn how to process defenses, learn how to do your effing job. This isn't about robotic. It's about you're not capable. He needs a quarterback guru, somebody who can step in there that he will respect and listen to and get better. Other than that, Kenny, it's possible, but not in Chicago. The He's going to have to go somewhere else and talk to somebody that he respects. Because think about this, though. I'm not making excuses for him, but he walked into a horrible situation where nobody really taught him anything. So now he kind of felt like, well, you know what? You guys didn't want me anyway. Let me just be me. You know, let let Justin cook. To say he's missing open receivers is is yeah wildly inaccurate because he's not even throwing it. I mean, there this week you you could see film studies all over the place. I mean, there are guys wide open. He's not pulling the trigger because he's not seeing it. He's not processing it. You can't. That's what being a quarterback in the NFL is. And see, I think that listening to him, he as he's overthinking, that did look like he's overthinking. Like, okay, maybe this guy is open for a reason because the safety's baiting me into this and, and sacked. Like, Justin, just throw the ball. Here's a Bill Belichick stat that you just hate to see. The Patriots are 2-7 and seven in their past nine games, and their two wins were against backup quarterbacks. They faced the Jets Week 3, who they beat 14 straight times. What? How much lower can the bar get for Bill Belichick and the, and the Patriots here? I mean, to me, he should be under fire. This team does not have talent. You know, his decision-making with drafting, staffing, the Patricia thing last year. How about their defensive game plan where your son is the D.C.? Your plan against Tua in Miami was three safeties across the board, 20 yards down the field, like it's a Hail Mary? That was your game plan? What adjustments were made at halftime? Let me help you. None. At a certain point, you have to take heat. And this team's 0-2. They're probably not making the playoffs. The talent erosion is a real thing. I, I think he deserves all the blame. I just think he should be fired. I think. Oh my! It's not getting better. You're, you're basically, if you're in New England, if you're in the Boston area, you're loving him for all the Super Bowls. Tom Brady showed you it was more him than Belichick. Brady went on, won more Super Bowls. New England has gotten worse each season. I don't see how it's going to get better. You had Matt Patricia as your OC, and you thought that was a good idea. I mean, Mike, he's basically begging New England and the Kraft family to. Fire him. Look at all the things that he is doing. He doesn't want to be there anymore, but he doesn't want to quit. And they're not picking it up because they're still living in the, well, I remember all those Super Bowls that you won. But no, this man has absolutely lost it. And he sh he should have been on the hot seat probably at least this time last season. When you put Matt Patricia as your OC, you, you basically just quit. Kareem Hunt visited the Browns. This included a tryout. Is this how the Browns ultimately fix the Chubb issue? There is no fixing it, but you had to do it. He's got familiarity with the offense, played with the team. Jerome Ford's a big play guy. They got a shot to be functional. Their, their big problem is, as you heard at the top of the show, their quarterback has turned into straight ass. Deshaun Watson's horrific. The athleticism is gone. He can't throw the ball accurately. You want to talk about, about a guy who's not processing things? Looks like his brain is working slow. Mm -hmm. It's Deshaun Watson. I don't know who this body double is, but that's not the Deshaun Watson. Here, I, that's not the Deshaun Watson I know. I agree with that. I mean, this this. I guess the experts were correct. You can't miss too much time in the NFL without losing a step, and he's definitely he. He looks like a rookie quarterback out there. He looks like Bryce Young. He looks like Anthony Richardson, except for he used to be really good. Well, it wasn't my plan to ask this, but who has a better chance of turning it around, Deshaun Watson or Justin Fields? Fields, because he's younger. Watson right now, that contract, that money, the pressure, he's not handling it, and it's the Browns. I'll give Fields a shot as a reclamation project somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, if, if it's Fields... Basically, you can go the Baker Mayfield route. You get the right team. Now, all of a sudden, it looks like you know what you're doing. They'll stick with you.
We talk about running backs here. We saw David Montgomery go down, Jamal Williams, Nick Chubb, obviously. Is this just further proof that our show is correct when we do not pay running backs? I yeah. mean, it is. It is. I mean, hell, J.K. Dobbins, gone. Kenneth Gainwell, hurt multiple yeah. weeks. Saquon Barkley, hurt. I mean, we can keep going. The way the league is gone is we're going to use three or four people, unless you're the Lions, and you just apparently won't use the guy you drafted at 12. We'll talk about it. The point is, this is why you can't sink a $100 million deal into a player who won play, and they're dead. The irony was during the uh, the Nick Chubb injury that across the bottom of the screen it was saying – the NFL is investigating whether the NFLPA told running backs to start faking injuries as he's being carted off the field. Right. Up next, Nick Chubb's leg is on backwards. Right. Travis Kelsey continues to be the most annoying player in the NFL by dating somebody equally annoying. He is now dating Taylor Swift. Oh is this official God. now? <laughs> it's a, I, According to his brother, it's official. I was going to ask why is this important, but why do we have to keep hearing from this guy? I mean, he saw that Gronk made a lot of money off of being obnoxious, and Gronk is gone. So he wants to fill that void, and now we are. We're talking about him and his dating life. Well, he's a Hall of Fame tight end. He's a personality. It's where we are. I choose just to ignore most of it. But the wrestling stuff and the aggrieved, you know, no one believed. That's the stuff that kills me. Who he dates, I really don't care. It's not my business. That's, I treat that. That's his personal life. Do whatever you want to do. I mean, really, he's, he's a sober Gronk. Is what he looks like. Oh, he's not a. You're not a fan of Kelsey, or you're not a Swifty either. All right. I know. I don't. It doesn't. They can do whatever they like. It's not my business. Last one here during Monday night's game, the Panthers took quarterback Bryce Young out and replaced him with Andy Dalton. In short yarded situations, Young has not looked great. This has just been the. Is this just a rookie problem, or is this eventually going to correct itself throughout the course of the season? No, no. It's a problem that he's the size of a Keebler elf. That's not fair. You can't. <laughs> you can't put him under center, and and literally the broadcasters made fun of him and said, "I guess they're going to pick him up and throw him over the line." They said that. You can't put him in there and expect him to get the fourth and inches. He's so tiny. Now he's a smart kid. He's the opposite of Justin Fields. He knows how to read coverages, read defenses. But I will continue to say, look. You can draft these guys. You can throw them out there due to public pressure, but there's no way he should even be playing. His best receiver is what used to be Adam Thielen, mm -hmm. another rookie in, in in Jonathan Mingo from Ole Miss. Rico, he shouldn't be in there right now. He he's should gonna, not. He's going to get killed. No, he's one of those guys that you probably should have did what Green Bay did with Love, and he sits on the bench. You build up this line for him. You get him some toys. So when it's right. uh, when his time comes, but right now. What you hope is you do not destroy his confidence by sticking him out there because he doesn't have anything. Like out at least C.J. Stroud has help. C.J. Stroud has Nico Collins, has Damian Pierce, has some weapons, and Stroud has looked okay. You, can, I mean, Anthony Richardson's another one. They're going to get the kid killed. Yeah. No Jonathan Taylor, no chance. Right. Out of spite. And oh, that, oh, and by the way. Let me ask you a question. If you were the Browns, I mean, I know they don't have any first-round picks because they gave them all away. How do you not call and, and, and see if you can get Jonathan Taylor? Well, because you probably – because the price is so high, Jonathan Taylor's not going to play this year. They, you could offer him – unless you're willing to give away the farm, which is stupid. No, they just signed Kareem Hunt, by the no, way. No, I'm saying, oh, yeah. how didn't they make that call? Because well, I don't understand. He's, he's not obtainable. Like, it makes sense on paper, Mike. You're right. You're dealing with an owner – who is just basically sticking his fingers in his ear going, nah, 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 nah. You're not going to play anywhere. Can I get that as a drop, please? Absolutely. Thank you. And that is in football today. <laughs>